ask Tom on home show. Sandy from West Houston, Texas needs a little roofing advice. Yeah, he he heard you mention a, a half ridge vent, Tom. And Sandy writes, yes. does somebody make a half ridge vent? Or are they just modified full full ridge vents? This is our one-story roof attic. It's about 600 square feet of attic floor and that needs outflow ventilation. We have soffit vents. Would that half ridge vent work here? Well, it's a joke. Yes, every ridge vent company makes a half ridge vent. They come in six foot, foot lengths, you cut them in half and you get 12 feet. Did you make sense? Okay, -dum -dum. you literally, Sorry. <laughs> you literally <laughs> cut them right Sorry. down the middle with a hook knife. And all of a sudden you have 12 feet of ridge vent. So. Think about when they buy the ridge vent, they just have to buy half as much because you have twice as much linear feet. Uh, and so, yeah, in a way they do, and they cut very simple, and then it goes on first, then the metal flashing comes over the top. And then in my case, they'll nail a few shingles on top so it matches up against the wall. I have it on my house. So, but that's the way it's done. You don't order half a ridge vent. You just... Make sure you do the linear feet correctly because you know you're cutting it right down the seam of the middle. Mm -hmm. So is, but in this case, would that be your advice on this? Is this is this what you would call a hip roof, the way that's done, how it goes up? He's got a hip ridge on there, but hip it's ridge. got a ridge. Okay. He could do that. Now, the problem you have in that particular picture, it's so tight. There's no wall going up. I don't think he's a candidate for right there, but as far as the half ridge vent, that's what I was kind of joking, but talking mm -hmm. about they do make them because you cut them. But right there, that's so tight to that upper soffit where there's no room. I would tell you, don't do anything. I would probably put two air hawks right there, uh, which are the little square slant back vents and call it a day because it's gonna be about the same amount of opening as a ridge vent that looks like maybe eight to 10 feet right there. And there's, they'll be close enough together where the air will go out. And so the opening is going to be pretty much the same because you don't have a lot of room. In my case, I have about 45 feet, so it's pretty long. And so it helps a lot. And I have about maybe six feet of wall above it with windows. So I have enough area where it flashes and details real nice. Is, is this, could this be possibly, Tom, a case where one of those solar vents might work in this kind of case since you know there's nowhere really to to take it out otherwise you could but i don't think you need to if it's passively cooled two little square slant vent uh, slant uh, back vents up there would look okay in fact i think they'd look nice if they did them nice and neat and you don't need it to, to do it on on and on such an expense because they're so much less expensive and they will give you all the ventilation you want 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You don't have to worry about the sun being out or it running just some of the day. These things will run 24 hours a day all year long, cold, hot, whatever. And so I don't think it's necessary to spend six, seven or 800 bucks for a solar vent there. I think those two for probably less than $250 is a better investment and you're gonna get your money back on the return for, with the results you'll get. Got a question? Tom will help you for free. Click on that blue Ask Tom button at homeshowradio.com. You'll come to this page. It's where you can either use a form or you can send us a video. We'll take either one. But what really helps is like you saw there where Sandy sent us that picture of the roof. Do that for us because we want to make sure that we answer not only for you, but for anybody else who may have a question. And that's why we do a new one of these every day and post them uh, to our U the Home Show Radio YouTube channel. I think I finally got that right. Um, or you can find them also posted with a lot of other good things like all our home show pros if you're in the Houston, Texas area at homeshowradio.com.